Yeah, this is major damage. I have broken off a plywood fin that has a through the wall tab. Is this worth fixing? And if you can, how can you fix it? That's what I'm gonna cover in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Okay, the glue is dry, and from the last time, I also went ahead and glued the little flaps down. And I just put a piece of tape so that, uh, that they would line up and stay down. So I'll go ahead and remove that. So I, again, I put the fillet inside. Um, I just drizzled some glue inside and then just took a, a little Q-tip and then just ran it along the, the root edge. I could only get one side, uh, but when I glued the fins on, it was pretty strong. And so they're, they're on there pretty good. Um, but now I do have this gap on both sides of the fin and I need to fill that. And I can't just use regular liquid glue because it'll just roll down inside of there. So I need something thick. So for that, I'm gonna use the Fix-It Epoxy Clay. Um, and it's real thick and it's a two-part mix and you just take a glob of each one and then you just knead it like dough until it gets to a uniform color. And I've gone and done that already. And so we'll go ahead and start putting the external fillets on. And so here's my uh, mixed up epoxy clay. And then you'll just take um, a chunk of it and just roll it into a, a snake like this. And I'm like about an eighth of an inch in diameter there. And just take that and just lay it along the fin like that. And I'm gonna press it down. And you wanna press it in hard and this is gonna create our fillet. Uh, should What I should have done, and it's not too late, is sand off um, some of that paint. Just start over again. So I got some sandpaper here and I wanna get down to the paper so that it sticks really well. It's a little bit flexy right there, but once we get that epoxy on there and it hardens up, it'll be nice and stiff.
So now to smooth out the, uh, the surface, um, I got a little cup of water right here and I'll just dip my finger in it. And it kind of lubricates as you rub across it and it'll smooth it out. I'm trying to make it nice and uniform. You can feel it if it, it feels bumpy going up over. Um, that just means you just need to rub a little bit longer. Doesn't take much water. Don't don't use too much water. You'll get in it into the wood and the paper, and then you have a different problem. <laughs> Okay, now you can see the edge is kind of jagged. Um, I like to have a razor blade, uh, but you can just gently just cut across that. Trying to get a nice um, even edge and just kind of scrape what you just cut. A razor blade works a lot better than a knife. And then a little bit more so you can feather out that edge and so it's nice and uniform. I don't have it good right there, but I can live with this. I mean, this thing's all bashed up pretty good anyway. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the fin fillets on and then we'll let it harden and then we'll um, finish this up. At this point, I've got all the fillets on and this is a piece of leftover uh, epoxy and you can see it's rock hard. Um, so the fillets are on. I've sanded them. Or I haven't sanded them yet, uh, but they are they need a little bit of sanding there there's a little bit of a edge right there what i would probably do is to fill that with the tamiya spot putty and we sell that here at apogee components you just it's it's a really thin paste and you just just drag it along that edge and it sands really nice um, it's a lot softer than the epoxy so it's not really structural but it uh, will fill those cosmetic flaws uh, right now, these things are rock hard. Um, in fact, this one here, which is the old one, feels a lot um, flexible than this one here. That uh, fillet really adds a lot of strength. Um, so at this point, um, the rocket would be ready to repaint um, after you filled all the cosmetic parts. Um, this one has a lot of dings on it, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, so that is the process of repairing a fin, a through the wall fin, plywood fin that has broken off and you have to replace the whole thing. It is a, as I said, it's a very involved process. We, we call it rocket surgery. It's not only rocket science, but it's rocket surgery. Um, and it will give you a rocket that's structurally sound, ready to fly again. Um, but there's a lot of work involved and at this point doing the cosmetic stuff is even more work um, So you may or may not want to do it depending on how much uh, Sentimental value your rocket has to you. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop May the winds be light. May the skies be blue and may all your rockets fly straight and true